The bucket list. See the glaciers before they melt. Go on African safari. Encounter the world's largest mammal. The ultimate things to do before you die. Or are they? If I was on my deathbed, there's no way I'd want to be climbing Kilimanjaro. It's not things to do a few <laughs> minutes before you die. It's things to do in your life. It's difficult. He was so suspicious after the last time. Here we go. We've told him that he gets to choose from the list whatever he wants to do. He's like Romeo and Juliet. But that doesn't mean that there won't be a few treats in store that he's not expecting. <laughs> this is a man who's reluctant. This is a man who doesn't want to do these things. No. No. It's making Carl do things that other people want to do before they die. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. This isn't his list. <laughs> Climbing Mount Everest, people dream of doing that. Not doing that. What about climb Mount Fuji? In Japan. If, if it's made for tourists, I'm guessing it's not that. It wasn't made. No, it wasn't but I mean, made. a lot of people. If a, a lot of people, it's like Kilimanjaro. Right. A lot of people used to say that's big and what have you, but now everyone does it. As long as it's not like that. Mm. I nearly died once on a on a hill like that because I started running, going downwards. I couldn't stop. I kept chucking myself on my ass and I kept bouncing back up. The wall. <laughs> it's not funny. I nearly went into chips, like through a bottom of a slate wall. Into chips? Yeah, like smashing through a slate wall, it would have just cut me up into like, you know, that sort of chip, chip shape. What do you mean? Why would you have been made into chips? Because there's no cement in it. It's just like a man-made slate. We were up there. Oh, I was getting mean... slate with my dad. Right. So you were, you were thieving? No, it's natural. Right. You can't nick off nature, can you? So you were running down a hill with slate in your pockets and in your No, mind. just in your hand. Right. I had hold of it like that, going down the hill, started to pick up a bit of speed. Yeah. And before you know it, my dad's going like, don't drop it, I'm going, no, no. And the weight of Your it... Your dad said, don't drop it. Yeah, I'd rather you were made into chips <laughs> than to drop any of this precious natural slate. <laughs> yeah. And my dad's mate, Sid, had to jump and sort of grab me around the legs. Cut all my face and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a doddle to you. Yeah. A cat cafe. <laughs> You pay to come and pet cats. How much? <laughs> Fifteen quid. Fifteen pounds? Just half an hour. Cat. Right, there you go. Time starts now, I guess. All right, boy. What are you up to? Just in a little cafe. Some cats. The cats? Yeah, it's a cat cafe. If you want a coffee and a cat, you come in. All right. That's nice. Not really. Fifteen quid it is. For half an hour. Yeah, They're not even friendly. Good for you, isn't it? Stroke a cat, it brings down your blood pressure. It's good for anxiety. You're always sort of stressed and moping around. That just chills you out. No, but this isn't helping. They're not even being friendly. They're not coming near me. Your cat's friendlier, and you know how much that cat does me head in. I'd love to see your oh. cat in here, you know. It would get battered the way you spoil it. <laughs> Honestly, it'd be like a posh kid going to a rough school. You're weak, because you don't do any exercise, so that brings you down, and that makes you ill. So, I've arranged some exercise for you. It'll make you feel good, OK? It's, um, sumo. You're in the home of sumo wrestling, so I think you should do it. But I've done wrestling. Um, I mean, there's, there's nothing greater or more honourable than being a champion sumo wrestler. You guys are huge. They're like... Superstars over there. It's just all about the nappy thing, isn't it, with Ricky? Making me look a knob. You can't look good in a nappy. A baby doesn't look good in a nappy. It's not a good look. And it's not even a skill that I want to learn, really, sumo. What, what training do they have to do? It's just pure... It's just eating, isn't it? That's the workout. It's just something for fat people to do, which is good, cos fat people haven't got many sports. 
you know, I suppose it gets them off their arse. I just don't want to be under it. Are you having a laugh? Have you seen the size of it? Look at them, they're like two rhinos at each other. It's unbelievable the force they're cracking. Just that is it, that's what you have to do, you have to push them out of the ring. Are there any of them that you think you could fight? Yeah, I'm over there with the blue shirt and glasses on. Can we at least get out of the nappy thing? Can we at least just say we don't need to do that? Because it's more about the pushing and the shoving and the fight than the fashion. What do you want to wear, Carl? I just need the underpants. But they're not wearing their pants, are they? No, probably because they can't get any to fit them. Carl? Carl, yeah. How hey, Carl. How are you? Yeah. Is... Ma ma <laughs> Say again? Ma the, the nappy. <laughs> Let's go. Just wear these. Hurry up. Yeah. Right, is it okay if I keep these on? No. Just give it a go, let's just have a look. Try. Try, please, can we just try? Go on. No. It's fine. It is. Yeah, but, but, but I'll be facing you. You shouldn't be looking at my arse. This is fight. It's not arse competition. Once that is on, I can suck it all in and you will not see. Can we just try? It's nipping, it's definitely nipping. It's um, special sacred water or something. You're supposed to drink their, their water. Could be sweat or anything, that. Green water. It's fine if I get the shits anyway, innit? I've got this on. I'm sure he was checking for me prostate. No! Ricky's always saying I should have that done at my age. He's left a fucking ring up there. How was it? Um, honestly, I got absolutely battered. Thrown all over the place. Do you know that, you know that sort of classic nature thing of a, a killer whale throwing a seal through the air? It was like that. If it stick a nappy on that seal, that is what you've got. Uh, got sweat in my eyes. Wasn't mine. That's a first. I was, yeah, I was hoping that one you'd sort of be engulfed and then you'd be about a pound of flesh and not be able to breathe. Yeah, and you got that. Also, that it would give you 
A giant wedgie. That's that's exactly what happened. <laughs> well, well, basically, you've got your bucket list then. I haven't had mine yet, but you've got your wish. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, I've arranged a cosy hotel for you. So, um, go and have a sleep. All right? Speak to you later. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Excuse me, is King Chi Choi far away from here? Excuse me, you don't know where King Chi Choi is, do you? No. Excuse me, do you know where King Chi Choi is? King Chi Choi? Uh, King Chai Cho. Uh, do you know the price for that? What? Price to King Chai Cho. Is, is it there? Yeah. Expensive. Don't worry, I'll, I'll keep I'll keep asking. My, I, I don't know Japanese. Kin Shi Choi. Kin, kin Shi Choi. Yeah, I'm just happy to finally get to the hotel, to be honest. Number 318. Room 318. Yes, this one's the third floor, yes. Second floor. Third. Second. Third. third. Yes. Are you from? Am I from Rome? Are you from? I'm from London. Hi. London? London, oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. London. A bit weird, isn't it? It's like a morgue. This is in your capsule room. Right. You can you can watch TV, Japanese TV. Yeah, but I can hear noise. Is that someone staying in a cubicle? There's someone playing an instrument. Can you hear that? Hmm? That noise. I'm very tired. I've had a long day. There's someone in a cubicle playing saxophone. Listen. Uh, you can watch watch TV. Television. Don't worry about it. It's all right. I'm, I'm so tired. I'll sleep. I'll sleep anywhere. It's OK. I'm going to go to sleep. Thank you very much. Hey. You have a good night. Good night. See you then. That much. It's like a film bloke was at it. Bloke was having crisps down there. Hello, mate. How was the hotel? Yeah, it was like being in a coffin with a cat flap on it. Yeah. So cheers for that. You won't get a sumo wrestler in it. It was like a lunchbox for one of them. Well, listen, you you could probably do with some loosening up, couldn't you? Um, so I think you'd be quite pleased with what I sorted out for you. Um, I've managed to arrange for you to do some uh, exercise, Japanese style. Apparently, people in Japan often they'll sort of get to work and then sort of you know exercise in a group. So um, I just I've arranged for you to, to get involved with that. It's like 2,000 builders here, working on a massive building. It's obviously something that they do every day before they start work. 
It's like a scene in Glee, isn't it? Or fame. You don't have put the two together in a way, all that all that dancing stuff en masse in this industry. I don't know, I don't know if I'm having some building work doing, if I'd be happy. Cos I get stressed out with builders at home. I've caught them doing all sorts. They've sat on their arse, having coffee, doing a crossword. They never turn up on time. When they do, I want them focused on the plumbing or whatever. If I come in and go, is, is the plumbing sorted? And they go, oh, Alan's outside doing star jumps. I'd be going, hang on a minute, why can't he do that before he got to work? If he wants to do exercise, why is he doing it in work time? And get the work done. I mean, there's got to be more to Japan than this. I mean, what have I done, really? I've shrugged a cat in a cafe, I've, I've wrestled a fat fella wearing a nappy, and I've done some exercise with some builders. I thought it was going to be all futuristic. Gadgets, robots, where are they? <laughs> Looks like it shit itself, doesn't it? Maybe it has. I don't know how human it is. Cools you down. That's going to give you a headache, not get rid of one. Look how complicated it is just for a toilet. Yeah, you have the, the skill of Bill Gates. Just have a shit. It's a crisp picker upper. If you want some crisp but you don't want to get crisps on your hands, you use a crisp picker upper. How do you turn it off? Shit. I of all the things I need a robot to do, is to fix stuff. In the 80s, that's what they were for, weren't they? They were in car factories, putting cars together. It's not doing that. It's piss arsing about. I'm going to dance on a stage. We've got enough dancers. I think that's the problem. It's got so advanced, it's going, I don't want to do work anymore. You can't do any of that. You can't do that stuff. But it's a robot. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Listen, what I've, what I've been thinking about is I want to invent something. I want to leave something behind after I'm dead. So that's what I'm going to do. That's, well, that's my plan whilst I'm here. OK. I mean, this might be a long process and might not be very interesting for television. You sitting in a room thinking. Uh, what, what thoughts have you had? Thanks. Just something useful. I come up with ideas all the time. I'm always saying to you or Suzanne, listen, here's an idea. I'm coming up with stuff all the time. That's why I think this is my strength that hasn't been used yet. Yeah. I'm st where I'm stood at the moment, they've got a plasma in the garden. This is what it's like in, in Japan. It's really advanced. And I reckon I can come up with something better than that. So leave it with me. Leave it with me. All right, well, don't be pissing around wasting too much time on that. Um, you're there to see Mount Fuji. So get yourself on the bullet train, all right? I'll talk to you later. See you later. Ta -da. I'm not going to come up with anything that's going to change the world, am I? I just want to come up with something that's useful. It's like these. I found these in the shop. Basically, mops that like you stick on a baby's feet and they mop up. Because let's face it, for the first three years of a baby's life. It's all take, 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 and they don't do anything. Keep you awake at night, keep shitting themselves, cause arguments between, you know, in relationships. They're a pain in the arse. But if you can get the baby helping out around the house, it's one less stress, isn't it? So these little mops, stick them on the baby's feet, 
They like to walk, they run around all the time, don't they? They're not going anywhere with it, they're not doing favours, they can't go out on errands, but they can mop the kitchen floor. All right, Carl, uh, I know you're heading off to Mount Fuji, but before you get there, we thought you might enjoy stopping off in the countryside to explore some of Japan's ancient traditions. Um, we've actually tracked down a little restaurant where you can try the dish that started sushi. All right, it's a fish that's been fermented for years. And I know you're not sort of really into your fish um, as food, but it is a real privilege to, to try it. So, um, so I'm sure you'll appreciate it. All right, mate, enjoy it. Bye. Do you want to sit down? Chair? I mean, that's mad, isn't it? What's the difference? What's the difference of doing that? Sitting there? Sitting there? What, what is the point in that? Carl, traditional Japanese sushi. Mm. I've been eating a lot of fish whilst I've been here. I'm not a fan. Maybe you, you can enjoy. It's very expensive, very rich, I, I think, rich taste. Rich? Mm. Full of, how do you say? Full why, flavor. Why has it got a lid on it? Is it alive? No. <laughs> How often do you eat that? Actually, I have eaten once. Once Please. in your life? Yes. All right. Do you, would you like side. some first? No, no, I, no, I, no, I, I eat always. Yeah. I, but, always I eat, so. But I've learned in Japan uh -huh. all about etiquette okay. and not to be rude, polite. Yeah. So I would like you. No, 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 honestly, no, 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 come on, let's play say, by the... If, if we're in Japan... That, I say, you are a guest in this town. That's so right, and I'm welcoming I'm you. I'm a host, so guests should eat fast. Right. Stinks, doesn't it? No. It does. No. What do you mean? No. It does. No. He does. It's a good smell. That's not a bad smell. No. It's very expensive. It's a lovely box. Yeah. I'm not moaning about the delivery. The tray is lovely. Yeah. The nice little sick bowls yeah. it comes with. Yeah. Beautiful. But that mm -hmm. should be on there, mm -hmm. should be nailed shut mm -hmm. and buried. Mm. I can't eat that, Jamie. I think it's off. It's like a delicacy. It's been fermented for three years. Good, good taste, good flavour. There's something in the middle of it. I, I can't eat it, Jamie. I don't know if it's rude or not. I don't know how they're getting away with it. It's not a meal, it's, it's, it's more like a challenge, that. <coughs> me, me taste buds had just been mugged. That's what had gone on there. <coughs> Sausage, egg and chips. I'm happy with that. Sausage, beans, potato cake. That's something Suzanne normally knocks up for me when I've been away. Something to welcome you back. If I have fish, fish fingers, battered cod. I've had Pollock recently. Is it Pollock? Yeah. I've had that because I didn't have any cod in the chippy. <laughs> Did Ricky tell you? I'm just sort of trying to come up with something. I've just got a magazine in front of me now and looking at some of the stuff they brought out here, I don't think I'm going to have a problem. They've got an air conditioning jacket, which I don't get, because if you're hot, just take it off. I don't understand why anyone would need that. You've got... Yeah. What is that? There's just a woman with a silver thing on her head. They're selling that. So I'm pretty confident... Are you confident that I see where you're going? Because they've come up with a lot of tat and, and you sort of, you're in tune with that. Yeah. 
I think Buddhism is for me so far. It's like when you walk into a house, they say you know within 11 seconds. It's the same with Buddhism. You wander in, I went, yeah, I like the layout, it's lovely. Got a lovely garden here, nice outfit. That's all you can go off. So I would like to introduce um, the way of thinking of Zen Buddhism. So let's start from the Mopin. Mopping. Mopping, yeah. Cleaning is uh, the most important training in the temple. I, th I thought we'd be sort of relaxing, meditating. Ah, Just uh, turned up, you said, let's get the mopping done. When was this last cleaned? Um, this morning. Well, why are we doing it again? Do you know what I do at home? I have laminate <laughs> and I haven't got a mop because I haven't got any room. Will that do? No, no, no. Why no, not? No. First, you have to draw a straight line. That's all right. No, you. Oh, it's come lining. off it. It goes out a little bit there. <laughs> I bought some mops that you put on babies' hands. Mm -hmm. There's some baby Buddhists in here. It's whining. What? And yours don't? And fair enough. That's OCD. That's not Buddhism. That's OCD. It wouldn't surprise me. He's probably he'll, he'll finish his raking and then he'll go in and just separate all his smarties because he only eats red ones or something. He's got a problem there. Would you be allowed to add fun to this? Fun? Fun. Fun. What do you mean by that? Do you want a race? Uh huh. Might as well. Go. It is very important to practice sitting meditation. Please do not move up at any occasion. All right, um, your phone's turned off, so I assume you're meditating with your little Buddhist chum. I bet you look like two little hard boiled eggs, don't you? Sitting there. Um, it's all about Om, and it? Remember that? Um, um I'm a little round-headed buffoon. You are a little mite more on the you are a little round-headed more on I was quite enjoying the meditation bit. He went and ruined it by whacking me with a stick on my back. <laughs> So why did he hit you, Carl? Because I think I moved. <coughs> but I moved because I had a big ant on my foot. And the ants here are big ants, and they bite you just for the sake of it. <coughs> and he bit me foot. I've got a bite. So of course I'm going to flinch. <coughs> Mike, that's enough. OK. Oh, that really hurts. <laughs> Please follow me. 
What were these people on the mopping needed doing? He said, you want a cup of tea? I thought, well, I've got to get to bed early. I'm up early. I've got to climb a mountain. I thought, how long can it take to have a cup of tea? It'd be nice to have a cup of tea. I'm a big tea fan. It took ages. There's no way they could get a job in a cafe, because the queue would be horrendous. So this face is facing to me. This aspect is facing to me. Val? Mm -hmm. Thanks for letting me have my tea before you. It's all right. And then... And... The shift it over In front of you. Yeah. And in a way, you know, quite like the way they made a big deal out of something that's so simple. Because at home, everything's in a rush, isn't it? They've made a proper moment out of something that we just do without even thinking about it. Sometimes I drink my tea, I don't even realise I've drank it. It's just sort of gone. I have, um... Twinings, English breakfast. Uh -huh. Do you know Twinings? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? But even though I can't speak their language, we had a connection there. We both like a cup of tea. Yorkshire tea. Yorkshire tea, yes. Yeah. Really, like, there's Earl Grey. Yeah. Not keen on Earl Grey. You see, we have tea bags. Yeah. Tea Lipton, bags. Lipton's. Lipton's is yeah. very good. Yeah. No, really, I haven't got any other tea stories. And that's what tea does, doesn't it? Brings people together. Hello, Carl. Steve here. How's it going, mate? Um, I think you're about to climb Mount Fuji, and I just wanted to give you a sense of just how mammoth an undertaking that is, because, you know, it's over 12,000 feet high, freezing temperatures. There will be a lack of oxygen up there, so I'm very impressed that you're doing it, mate. Um, just so you get a sense of just how amazing Mount Fuji is, I have arranged front row seats at one of the best views of the mountain. I think you're going to find it really awe-inspiring, mate. I can't even see Mount Fuji. I'm not looking. I've not been looking. I can't. I don't want to look. Starting my trip up Mount Fuji tomorrow morning. Um, wasn't really worrying about it that much, and then it just suddenly hit me. It's big. It's a big hill. It's got a plate there with it on. I mean, it even looks high up on that. Look, there's clouds by the side of it, not over it, by the side of it. And now you're giving me all this clobber, oxygen cans, in case I need that because it's high up. Wasp jelly, I've never heard of that. Don't know what that does. Altitude tablets. When I left home, that's what I brought, a bit of old nut. I thought a nice stroll, some chocolate. Enjoy the view. I said about the marathon to you before, people treat that with respect, but in a way, I kind of think that's, that's a piece of piss, because if you do get tired and you've had enough, you're in London. Get on the number 38 bus and go home. With this, there's nothing. You're stuck up there. What are you going to do? Are we going to go on, or are we going to go back? We're at the beginning now. The track's not that bad, is it? Pretty flat. That's, that's my only worry. I think it is good to have two people. Ben Fogel. He did it with his mate, didn't he, that cracknell bloke? Two people, look. We noticed. Two people. It's always best to do stuff in twos. Two Ronnies. 
Vic and Bob, Ale and Pace, Cannon and Ball, Chaz and Dave, Sue and Mel, Morecambe and Wise, Ant and Deck, Dick and Dom, Who was it with Les Dennis? A bit harder now, isn't it? Shit, it's not a hill, is it? It is a proper mountain. It's best not looking up. It's always best not knowing how far you've got to go or anything, really. I've been overfaced. When Suzanne's mum does a Sunday dinner, it's like that on a plate. Piled, mash, Yorkshire pudding. It's like that, honestly. We don't talk for the first half an hour because we can't see each other. Just sat behind mounds of food. And even though I'm hungry, I go, I can't eat all that. But that's that for me. I've been overfaced. <laughs> Nothing's ever perfect. How do you mean? Have you ever seen a sight better than that? But... Who put that there? that at this hour. It's Ricky. It is Ricky. Shit. Hello? Oh, I missed it. Probably just checking up on me. Seeing if I've given up. Turn round, walk back. I walk away from a lot of things in life when it does me head in. <coughs> School, I hated it, I was rubbish at it. Didn't complete it. I haven't got married, have I? So again, something else I haven't really finished. There's some wallpaper in that needs doing. I haven't finished properly. I didn't even get any sort of badges for swimming when I was at school. Unless it's a packet of biscuits, I don't finish it, I think. that's That's been the thing. That's why, I, that's why I want to do this mountain and get to the top. And that's why I want to do my invention. I don't know if this is good telly, to be honest, because it's just pitch black. You can't see anything. I can't even think. That bloke with Les Dennis. It was Dustin G, wasn't it? That's who it was. Torval and Dean. That's another pair. I've done it, haven't I? Completed it. But I feel like shit. Even though, that's amazing. I feel like shite. Do you know how I wanted to come up with an invention? Whilst I was there, I came up with one. 
Do you know the thing you put on your neck when you're on long flights? I've used that. That isn't how the finished thing would look when I, when I make it. But just to give you an idea, I've sewn that in. And whenever you sit down, you've got a cushion. Say like this rock, it's freezing. If I lay back on that with just pants on, get a cold ass. That's how you get hemorrhoids. But with this, just lean back. And as well as no cold, great comfort. And I can enjoy that. It's good, isn't it? Have you got a name for it? Pilco pant. Pilco pants. I mean, I know it's not going to change the world, but neither did the egg cup. Neither did Soda Stream. It's just another little invention. It's all over, isn't it? Japan's done. The series is done. I mean, it's been a bit mental, hasn't it? The whole thing. I never wanted to travel. Didn't go abroad till I was 21, 22. And now I've been all over the shop. And I don't, I don't know if it's changed me that much, really. I mean, when I go home, I still like a biscuit and a cup of tea. A cup of tea and, you know, dunking a biscuit. I'm well happy. And that's the right way to be, isn't it? Because you can be into travelling, but the world's only so big, isn't it? So eventually you're going to run out of places to visit. Whereas biscuits, there's loads of them. I, uh, I came up with my invention. Right. What was that? It's a pair of pants, and you pump up the arse, yeah. and you can sit right. on anything. I came up with it whilst in Japan, because you have to keep sitting on the floor here. They don't have chairs. Can I just say something? Go on. I'm out. <laughs>